in your book you actually outlined a system uh, or, or a scenario where we've got sort of you know a village or a small town or a hundred houses and they're actually running a decentralized system the first and most obvious one is solar power so imagine you've got a house you've got your solar system you're running it about let's say 90 percent what do you mean 90%? Like I'm producing 90% of the power I need from my solar panels? Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, you can buy power from the grid and then if you have too much, you can sell power back to the grid. And that, that, that would mean that a small town, you know, 20 houses on a street, roughly speaking, if they're creating 90% all the time and they have some battery uh, system to store that power when they're, when they're creating too much, yeah. then between just 20 houses, you could probably get to a state where you were roughly speaking, you know, surviving on, on that alone. It wouldn't be ideal. What do you um, mean because everyone's not using the power at the same time? So. Yeah, they're not all using the power at the same time. The patterns would probably be similar, yeah. but not as similar as people think. People right. do kind of, you know, come and go at different times. So, you know, you have that scenario where 10 people or 20 people at 90% can sort of almost take care of each other if they're exchanging power. Okay. And let's put wires between people's houses, yeah, which right. somehow have been financed. So really, you could probably buy the current grid off the... Uh, the company. If okay. not, then you could, you know, that would take some political right, pressure. So this is a step further. We've, so we've sort of we've, we've got off the grid somehow. We've laid wires or we've bought it off the grid, and we've, 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 that grid is now owned by these four hundred people, the two towns. Yeah. One town. So you have electricity. You're connected to your neighbour. You're also connected to the people across the street. This is sort of now you're forming a mesh. Yeah, it's a nice word that one, a mesh. I like yeah. That one. And the more people, the more meshy that gets, the more secure it gets. Now there are obviously technologies to allow electricity to be distributed in this manner, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that we might need work on in that department too, but I don't know how much. Um, there's maintenance for those cables, there's all sorts of things. So yeah. we start to see an economy forming around this. So you're generating power for the most part when it overflows, you're selling that power and that's the second network. That's right. the, that would be a distributed, that would be a decentralized marketplace, which anyone can be, you know, join in with. 